الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers and sisters, this world that we live in is a gigantic place with our 120 plus countries uh, and our massive oceans that make up more than 70% of Earth uh, and then we have our we have our, our Milky Way in which there are altogether nine planets there are many moons we have the sun uh, and when you go above and beyond our milky way we find that there are a hundred billion galaxies in the observable universe 21 21.6 sextillion planets sextillion is you know they say million billion trillion uh, quadrillion quintillion or quin quinillion and then there's sextillion, this is the sixth one There's 21.6 sextillion planets in this observable universe There is a lot that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in the heavens Okay, the earth and the heavens are gigantic But the question that we have to ask ourselves is why? Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create these planets And these Milky Ways, these galaxies and this earth And the things that are on earth, the trees, the mountains, the fish in the sea The ants in the burrow, the humans that live on top, the birds that fly Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create all of this? What is the purpose of the creation of this vast heaven And the heavens and the earth? Allah tells us in the Quran Allahu alladhi khalaqa sab'a samawatin Wa min al-ardi mithlahunna Allah said Allah is the one who created the seven heavens and the earth and the like thereof Allah created the heavens and the earth And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent his command His command descended between them Why? All of this, the heavens, the earth, the command descending between them Was for one purpose all of that which I mentioned has been created for one purpose لتعلم, So that you can know, know, know what? So that you can know that Allah has ability and power over everything And Allah has knowledge over everything Allah has encompassed everything with His knowledge in other words, when you get to know the universe and the earth and the plants and the stars and the trees and the humans and everything, it teaches you two things. That the one who created this has ability and power over everything and the one who created this has encompassed it or everything in his knowledge. So it tells you Allah is able, he's powerful, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's got ability and it also tells you Allah has got knowledge. They say intelligent design. My brothers and sisters, I don't want to lose you. The point of the matter is that all of this was created لتعلموا, so you can get to know Allah. In other words, the purpose and the existence of creation, the heavens and the earth, was so that you can get to know Allah. The purpose of all of this, you being created so you can get to know Allah. Now one may say, but that isn't the purpose of our life to worship Allah? Yes. Allah said in another verse, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That you, men and jinn kind were not created for any reason except but to worship Allah. But I'll let you know two things. Number one, worship has a prerequisite, which is knowledge. Knowledge of the one you're worshipping and how to worship him. So knowledge is a means by which you will achieve your goal. But the second thing that I want to mention is that knowledge of who Allah is, is worship in and within itself. Some knowledge is needed to be able to do worship. Knowledge of getting to know Allah is in and within itself worship. In fact, from the most honorable, the greatest knowledge is the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course then all the knowledges that come with it of how to worship him and so on and so forth. So my brothers and sisters, the purpose of your life and my life and everything around us so we can get to know Allah. My question is, in your years of living and in your years of learning many things that you've learned, mathematics, Pythagoras theorem, you've read Shakespeare, you've studied of mice and men, how to, uh, you know, to kill a mockingbird, you've learned about the water cycle, you've learned about the different types of rocks. In geography, you've learned about the Tudors in history. How much of your time have you learned 
How much of your time have you spent learning the foundation for why you were created? Which was to get to know Allah. Your Lord and my Lord. If you haven't, then you've not been fulfilling your purpose. But it's never too late. You can begin now. Many of you may be aware that we've been promoting our five-year Islamic studies program. Which, inshallah ta'ala, the deadline for it, the registration closed at midnight tonight, Sunday. Sunday, right now, today, midnight. If you missed this deadline, then you have possibly missed your opportunity to fulfill your purpose in life. Now it's a five year program and you don't have to sign up for all five years Because the way that we've designed it is that the first year We tell you the most absolute necessary things that you need to know We teach about Allah's greatest right which is to be worshipped alone We go through aqidah in which we learn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes and many other things You learn fiqh how to worship him, you learn tafsir of the small surahs of the Quran You learn the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa you learn manners, you learn 40 hadith That summarize the key foundational principles of this religion So even if you just thought I just want the basics, come for the first year. But a person who has greater aspirations and wants to learn more can come for the full five, or can come for two out of three or four or five. Now, if you'd like to register, you cannot register without the Telegram group. You have to join the Telegram group from the link below. If you join that group, it will automatically take you there. If you click the link, it will automatically take you to the group. And then you can, inshallah ta'ala, have a lot of questions that you have no doubt answered within that group. And bi idni ta'ala, you can then sign up. But know that you have till midnight. Any person who has an opportunity to study about their Lord, knowing that it's the foundational purpose for why they were created, should not pass up the opportunity. Don't say, I don't have time. How do you have time for anything else other than Allah? How, how do you even have time for anything else other than Allah? Allah is the foundational goal of our life, to worship Him and get to know Him. To say, I don't have time to fulfill my purpose. That's a very arrogant thing to say. But I'm sure that you're not arrogant. And inshallah ta'ala, you will make time. Uh, so click the link below. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika shadun la ilaha illa anta astaghfiru wa